In this video, we're going to review the organs of the body that you are responsible for. I'm going to go through them the first time a little bit slower. I'm not necessarily going to go in order. We'll go through this picture, and then we'll also go through this picture. And remember, you have access to these pictures on the Blackboard site, as well as a practice test that you should take over these. So the two that are on here are the brain and the spinal cord. Those should be pretty common knowledge, so I shouldn't have to review those. But this is the lung. Here's a lung. This is the heart. This is the trachea. It's the blue structure here. It's anterior. This is the liver. This is the stomach. This is the large intestine. This whole gray structure here. This is the small intestine. O is pointing to the diaphragm, which is a muscle that separates the cavities. When we take out some of these superficial organs, you now see the pancreas here. You see the adrenal glands. One is here. One is here. This is the kidney. Again, you see the large intestine. The end of the large intestine here, you see the appendix. You take the large intestine all the way down. You get to the rectum, the anus. You can also see the bladder in this view. Here you have the liver again. Looking at the posterior aspect of the liver, you see the gallbladder. Looking here, you see the thyroid gland right above the trachea. Okay, we showed you the trachea in the last picture. Posterior to the trachea is the esophagus, so it run all the way up here, but it's posterior to the trachea. Here you have kind of a strange one. This is the lung. This is the diaphragm. Um, this lung is the left lung. If you remember, the spleen is going to be up in there. Okay, so remember, make sure you review that. On this picture, you can see the adrenal glands again, the kidney, the ureters, and the bladder. So again, let me go through that again. Lung, second lung, heart, trachea, liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, diaphragm. Here we have the adrenal glands, kidney, large intestine again, and in the large intestine you have the rectum, the anus, here you also see the bladder, you have the appendix, small intestine, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, thyroid gland, trachea, esophagus, left lung, diaphragm, spleen, adrenal gland, kidney, ureters, bladder. One more time through. Lungs, heart, trachea, liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, diaphragm, large intestine again, rectum, anus, bladder, appendix, small intestine, pancreas, adrenal gland, kidney, liver, gallbladder, thyroid gland, trachea, esophagus, left lung, diaphragm, spleen, adrenal glands, kidney, ureter, bladder. One more time, lungs, heart, trachea, liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, diaphragm, large intestine, rectum, anus, bladder, appendix, small intestine, adrenal gland, kidney, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, thyroid gland, trachea, esophagus, left lung, diaphragm, spleen, adrenal gland, kidney, ureter, bladder. Again, review these, take the practice test. You're also responsible for what systems they are part of, so make sure you review that also.